Kathleen Kennedy, blown away by the panel, the, the trailer, the title. Great to have a Skywalker name in yep. the title. At the start of all this, at The Force Awakens to now, how different has the trajectory of the movies gone to where you thought, like, did you, like, it's, there's a lot of hearsay and actors say this about, was there an end point at the end that you were sort of aiming for and, and ducking and weaving? Like, how different is it than where you perceived it in 2015 to where it is now? Well, we knew that George had always envisioned this kind of three act structure of these three trilogies, mm -hmm. but George didn't leave anything more than a blueprint. And certain characters, obviously, that we've known and loved from the previous movies, and then the new characters that were created by J.J. in The Force Awakens. So that's really the challenge, is that we don't have source material. We don't have 800-page books that we're adapting. We don't even really have comic books mm -hmm. um, that give us a, a great deal. We have an idea, we have a mythology that George Lucas created. And from that, we bring very incredibly talented people like JJ into the process and our story group up at Lucasfilm. And we talk about, just the same way I'm sure fans talk, we talk about what's meaningful and what we wish for and what, what we hope happens with the characters. And it's an evolutionary process of storytelling. In saying that, how much 2015 Kathleen Kennedy sees the last 10 minutes of episode nine, is she shocked or she's like, oh yeah, no, that's where I, uh, that's where I thought we were going all along. Oh yeah, I'm incredibly moved. I, um, let me put it this way, it's where I hoped it would go. That's a good Star Wars quote. <laughs> <laughs> In, uh, you mentioned the panel that you really, you know, looked at George's movies yeah. and, and tried to really study it. Was mm -hmm. there anything like surprising, any like thing that you picked up that maybe you hadn't seen before? No, I think the interesting thing that happens when you look at what George was doing is he was coming from a place of a filmmaker in 1977 and we're filmmakers in 2019 and a lot has changed in the world and perspectives had changed in the world and there are things about Star Wars that always feel relevant and modern in their own way, even though it's a kind of timeless setting. And I think that's what has changed. That's, that's what you find yourself looking at, what did he start with and where have we ended up? Nice. Now, can I ask you a question that's a little bit off the grid? Mm. The, um, years ago you were at a charity event wearing the, like the Nike um, yeah. Forces female t-shirt. And, oh, yeah. and a lot's been made like, like if misinterpreted, but I, I just want to like, do you want to like sort of talk about like sort of just set the record straight of like what that t-shirt sort of meant and... The force is female. It, I didn't know it was controversial. Oh yeah, uh, p people were very upset about that you were wearing a Nike t-shirt that, that said that and maybe that's like, if it's, really? well, why is it female? But like, I think it's a cool, t you guys look like you're having oh, a great time. I think, you know, that it, it was something that Nike created. I didn't create that t-shirt. I thought it was just kind of fun. My, my girls go to an all girls school and the entire school was wearing those t-shirts and they were having so much fun. And I think the amazing thing about the force is the force is in all of us. Yeah. It's not that it's just female. It's not that it's just male. It's, it's the force. And whether or not somebody can claim it as their own, I think that that's ubiquitous. Yeah. So I, I didn't I didn't realize it was actually controversial. Are you implying that the force might be my cat as well? It might be your cat. Excellent. Yes. Thanks so much for have answering you that. that. Yeah, yeah, I have. <laughs> really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out all eight of our The Rise of Skywalker Star Wars Episode Nine cast and crew interviews from Star Wars Celebration Chicago. And if you want more celebration coverage and are into audio podcasts, check out our live blog pods coming every day from Star Wars Celebration on SteelWars.com, iTunes, or wherever good or bad podcasts are downloaded. Thanks so much, and may that force be with you.